Good afternoon, my dear kids. So today, the topic we have been studying was life processes from class 10. That was the chapter number 6. The last topic which we have studied was nutrition. In that we have seen whatever food we have taken inside the body was being broken down into the simplest respiratory molecule known as the glucose. That glucose molecule has now entered all the cells of your body. Now, the next topic will be the respiration. Whatever glucose molecule that has now been kept in your cell needs to be now oxidized. Oxidized means addition of oxygen to any molecule. What molecule? The glucose molecule which is present inside the cell will be now broken down with the help of oxygen. But if oxygen is being utilized, so that type of respiration will be called as aerobic respiration. And if some organisms, they do not use oxygen for the breakdown of the glucose molecule. For that category, we have got respiration known as anaerobic respiration. That means in the absence of oxygen, this is broken down. Now, the glucose molecule will be broken down into pyruvate. What is another name for pyruvate? Another name for pyruvate is pyruvic acid. That is a three carbon compound. So, breakdown of glucose molecule, that is a six carbon molecule, will be broken down into pyruvate. That means key three carbon molecule. So two molecules of three carbon each of pyruvic acid will be broken down. That will be the first step of the respiration and it occurs in the cytoplasm regardless whether the organism is doing aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration. After this pyruvic acid or pyruvate molecule is formed inside the cell in the cytoplasm, what will happen? That pyruvic acid will now enter mitochondria. You know mitochondria it is a cell organelle and it is known as the powerhouse of the cell. That means it will, it will be making ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And ATP is what is the energy currency of the cell. Whatever biochemical reactions that will be taking place inside the cell, it will be utilizing what? It will be utilizing ATP. And in the mitochondria, the second step will be what? Breakdown of this pyruvate molecule entering into the mitochondria and releasing carbon dioxide, ATP and water. Okay? So, as we have seen in the cytoplasm, this is what I'm drawing a cell. And this is the cytoplasm. This is the nucleus you can call it as. And now I'm drawing a mitochondria. Okay? So, the glucose molecule which was there inside the cytoplasm, now by the entry of the oxygen molecule, this now glucose molecule will be broken down into pyruvic acid or pyruvate. So, this pyruvate will now enter inside the mitochondria and it will be releasing carbon dioxide, ATP and H2O. So, this is what all is happening in the aerobic respiration. But once, if I go to anaerobic respiration, the same process will occur, but it will...